The Best Way to Combat Climate Change by myself, Jonathan Chavez. Let's talk about climate change, formerly known as global warming. It's been a hot topic for the past couple of years, and we see many of its effects, including, but not limited to, change in migration patterns, droughts, torrents, and in extreme cases, extinction. Typically, these effects are slow. However, climate change causes this process to become accelerated, which causes sudden droughts in more temperate regions and then heavy rainfall the very next day. Many ecosystems will shatter, and this process will directly and indirectly affect mankind. Now what can we do about it? Humanity has created technological and mechanical marvels since its advent. Such marvels can include the Roman aqueducts, which bring water from one source to a city, and the Roman roads, which um, which allows the military, merchants, and people to move to and from Rome with much more efficiency, thereby easing their lives. Great advancements in science and in medicine has allowed humanity to alter genes and change attributes of people. How can we use this power in the face of climate change, you might ask? The answer is CRISPR, a gene editing science which lets us change our genes to resist certain things such as heat, cold, and, and uh, infections. This can prove beneficial when, place, when faced with climate change. CRISPR, of course, isn't perfect, and some unwanted genes may change, thereby causing cancers. Uh, even if this process worked, however, this, this, these changes can't affect the very next generation, which means they would also re need to receive the same treatment. While gene editing is a creative solution, it isn't an effective one. If we can't trust modern science, what can we count on? How about migration? People have been leaving their hometowns since the dawn of humanity for various reasons. But where, you might ask, would we move? Some places are much more climate stable than others. However, places with higher or lower temperatures than average are much more susceptible to climate fluctuations. If everyone flocks to these more temperate climates, overpopulation will occur, thereby causing that region to use more resources, land, and energy, thereby contributing to the climate crisis that they were trying to avoid. These solutions have problems. Gene alteration only affects an individual, and migration isn't truly sustainable. These solutions only fight or run away from nature. Therefore, the only solution is to base our inspiration on nature. Take in inspiration from the Egyptian boats, who harnessed the wind to move objects up and down the Nile. Tofino villagers, as well, built their, built their houses above the river, which allows them to farm fish much more easily. Take this quote from Julius Watson, Julia Watson, our stim, one of our stimulus resources. We have thousands of years of ancient knowledge that we need to listen to and, ex and allow it to expand our thinking and design sym symbiotically with nature. Therefore, the best and only way to create a sustainable structure is, as she says, symbiotically with nature. Now that we've concluded that nature is the best and only way to go about fighting climate change, we must look to a time where nature was our only inspiration, the time of our ancestors. The Kazi people used natural root bridges to stay away from monsoons and floods, which are frequent in their region. And unlike normal wood, these living organisms absorb water and do not rot because of it. On the topic of staying away from floods and waters, Marsh Arabs built their houses with, from Kazi cassaw reefs, which float in the water. According to Julia Watson, these reeds are incredibly resilient and can last up to 25 years. Ancient wisdom is an excellent example of using nature to assist humanity, but this isn't the answer. Finally, our solution. Unlike the previous possible examples of uh, using ancient wisdom to combat climate change, mm -hmm. the animals in nature have hundreds of millions of years to adapt and change, facing from blazing hot temperatures to cold and frigid ones. Let's talk about the fennec fox. This little animal has adapted to fight off the heat in the desert by using its ears to dissipate heat much more effectively. Its reserve behavior means that it doesn't waste more energy than is needed. And additionally, their dens are underground, meaning that they do not get the direct heat of the desert. We can use this information to our advantage by staying inside more often, altering our homes to deflect desert lights by painting them white, and adding copper heat sinks 
Sherlock Holmes and Cars. These heat sinks are very similar to the Fennec Foxes in here, by dissipating them very effectively. Therefore, the only strong and, and therefore using strong and specific in inspiration from nature is our only long-term solution to climate change. Thank you. This is my work cited. Thanks, Jonathan. I got a couple of questions, and then you'll be done. So for the first one, uh, did your research uh, uh, originally uh, start in one place and then go in a different direction? And if so, tell us about that. Well, originally I was thinking on how we could base, not on animals, animals, but from nature's, excuse me, from their buildings, from the way nature forms, from the way evolution works. How if something doesn't work, then nature tries something else. It's a way of, I suppose, brute forcing it. So, humanity specifically chooses these things. However, nature, since it brute forces it, means it's much more effective. Okay, terrific. And then as a follow-up question to that, uh, what additional questions emerged from your research and why do you think these questions are important? Well, during my research, uh, one of my questions to myself was that since our ancestors used nature, um, how, is, how is that not more effective than nature itself? Since humanity has a way of focusing on things, structuring things, making them more focused and the better. And then I started thinking to myself, well, nature has had more and more, more time than humanity has. Even though people have spent many, many years of focusing and devoting their lives to it, but nature, in my opinion, is much more um, efficient at this process. Even though it takes millions of years, those millions of years perfect a specific evolution, which in this case would be the Fennec Fox's, Fennec Fox's heat sink years. Okay. Terrific. Uh, 